at Quad Studios. Everything was cool with Tupac and Stress, right? Prior to that, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. They were together, bro. You gotta remember, they walked into that, into the Quad situation together with Freddie. Freddie was there too. They walked in together. They walked through that door together. They have been together all fucking day. They walked in that situation and they both got laid down together. They all got laid down. So what I want to do, right? Because I don't want to speak for Pac. I want Pac to speak for itself. I got an audio of Pac detailing play-by-play of what happened at Quad, and I want to get your opinion on it. Hey, Blake, play this audio for him. That's what they was telling me. Pop, they was sending me messages through my closest road dog saying, Pop, why did you fight that? They was just coming to take your shit. But I wasn't letting nobody take my shit, and I was strapped that day. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. I couldn't put in the body. I had two, two double glocks on me. And when I pulled for my shit, that's when I got shot. That's it, that's and the reason I knew my homeboys set me up is because my homeboys knew I was strapped. Mm -hmm. The dudes came straight for me. My homeboys is behind. My homeboys is behind the niggas, like they running for the way. My homeboys behind the niggas, and they didn't do nothing. They knew I was strapped. All they had to do was grab the nigga, mm -hmm. and I could have bust. But they got guns, so these niggas are coming for me, and these niggas just sitting there. And they said, get, and these niggas dropped to the floor. I knew it was a setup. Wow, that's the first time I ever heard that. That's the first time, I, that is the first time I ever, ever heard that. And I'm quite sure that that was said after everything happened. That was, and he said that after quad. That's absolutely what he said after quad. After quad, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what he said. He said that the way he reacted when he was getting robbed, it looked like he was a part of the setup. I guess so. I, I, I guess so. I don't understand why he would feel that way because they all got laid down and, and everybody knows that Freddie ended up taking a bullet so I don't know why he would feel that way. I think, you know, from my perspective, what I know from talking to Stretch was niggas had to drop on him. So what the fuck was I supposed to do? Niggas had to drop on him. And, and for Pac saying that they came straight for him, they absolutely did. Because if you, if, if anybody had seen the interview with the dude that one of the dudes that were at, was there, they know they were there for Pac. They were there for Pac. They wasn't there for any, they wasn't trying to rob nobody else. They wanted to rob Tupac. And the guy that actually did it has stepped forward. It's all over YouTube. He said it. We were told to take care of that man. Not them dudes, that man. So, you know, I know Pac and I know how Pac is when he upset. You know what I mean? But from my perspective, Set him up. What would, would be the benefit of setting Tupac up? What would be the benefit for stretching them to set Pac up? I don't. I never understood why people would ever say that. I never understood it. As much as they were together, as much as they loved each other, as much as they rode for each other, what was the benefit? What did he? What would he benefit from that? What did he benefit from it? I don't get it. That was my dude. His name is tattooed to my arm. It's going to stay on my arm forever, and I don't fucking believe it, and I don't care what nobody says. You would have to actually play me a tape of Stretch talking to somebody for me to ever go, damn, my man was like that. I did not know. I don't believe it, but I, I, one thing that I can't tell y'all, and this is what I want everyone to always remember. Always remember how young Tupac was. Always remember that he was very, very young. Always remember they all was young. Now, if you're over 40 years old and you happen to catch this, ask yourself, who were you when you were in your early 20s? If something like that happened to you, how would you have reacted to it? And a lot of us would have reacted the same way that he reacted. He was a young cat. He died way too young, bro. He's still young. So you're acting, asking a young dude to act like a grown ass man when he wasn't even at that maturity level yet. He's a he's a polarizing figure, man. What was your reaction when you first heard what happened at court? Um, my first reaction was, is everybody OK? 
That was my first reaction. How is he? Is he okay? Is he, is he, is he injured beyond repair? Is, do we have to go into surgery? What's going on with them? Stretch, are you good? Is everybody good? Is what happened? Where was everybody? How did this shit happen? Where did it come from? My first initial reaction was, is Tupac okay? Because, or like everybody else on the news, I heard he got shot. So that was my first thing. Is he okay? Is he going to be okay? And Pac, he tried to pull out a gun, right? Absolutely. He, he reached. That's how he got, he reached his gun went off. That's how he got hit in the groin. That's how he got hit in the groin. When he reached, his gun went off. Yeah. And the rest of the grazing came for them. They started shooting once he reached and the gun went off and then all the shots started, started ringing out. There were so many different, I wasn't, I wasn't in the studio, bro. I can just tell you what people told me. I can tell you how Stretch told me it went down, right? I never talked to Pac about that certain situation after that. Because after he came home and then he went, remember he went in and then he was in jail and we never had a conversation again after that. And then um, we didn't even talk about it when I saw him at the MTV Video Music Awards after party. I was just, I was pissed at him and I let him know that I was mad at him for not coming to Stretch's funeral. And, um, and then the next time I really saw him after that was the night he got killed. 